All right, we're here at the barn. The old farm track 665 is in the operating room. We uh, had a problem last weekend when we were bush hogging and had a steering cylinder start leaking pretty bad. So anyway, we're here to, to put this thing back on. And I've also drained all of the rear, uh, rear fluid out of it. And I'm gonna change out a couple of hydraulic filters and put new fluid back in it and then we're also going to put this new cylinder back in. So let's put the drain plugs back in. Here. The beauty of only putting these filters on hand tight is I just realized I forgot my filter wrench and I started to panic, but uh, I had already hand loosened this, but I was able to actually get this off with just my hand and I've already checked the other one too. And I was able to twist that one too. So it just goes to show you, you don't have to put these on just super, super, super tight. And this thing's been draining for a week, so no mess. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Two brand new filters. Alright, I'm just going to take uh, a little bit of this oil here. It's on here. Seal. Well, one makes a good seal, but it also keeps it from sticking when you go to take it off and also keeps it from binding up bunching up when you go to tighten it down and I'm just gonna kinda double grip it and that's about as tight as I'm going to make it. Alright, All right, so we're ready to, to put the cylinder back on. Need to remove the bag, but <clears throat> we've got the cylinder laid out. and We've got all of the parts here. Towards the wheel side, you're going to have a, uh, of course, the bolt. A spacer and then a bolt and then over here on the axle you'll have a pin and then two different size spacers and a spring dowel and <clears throat> this matches up with everything that's in the manual so the bigger one the bigger one goes on the bottom the smaller one goes on the top and you get your pin that goes through the pin up here uh, your spacer the bolt and that will go on like that all right so i've got this in and um, got the spacer right there and the nut on top of the bolt so now i've just got to stick the pan up through there and then stick the dowel through the hole okay so i've got the the large spacer uh, up above the flange and then the smaller spacer above the cylinder below the flange and then it's just a matter of lining up these holes and uh, knocking this pin down in here well, it looks pretty pretty close all right, so we're almost lined up right there. I'm gonna, I've got a pin here that I'm gonna stick in there and this should, should kind of line it up pretty well. Yep, that looks pretty good. Stick a pin in there and we'll see if she'll start. Get a hammer and use this little punch to drive that in. Okay, so the pin is in. Uh, 
coming out on the other side of the pan. So we should be good to go. And for this tractor, I'm just using a uh, tractor supply, traveler, 80 weight, 90 multi purpose gear lube. Takes about nine gallons of fluid, and so should be ready to fill it up. Alright, so another thing I needed to do, and I did while I was over here, is uh, this clevis here needed a pin in it. This thing, actually, the one in the clutch. I believe it was, I believe it was this one or this one came out one day while I was bush hogging and I was headed right for a tree and I hit that clutch pedal and it didn't do anything. Luckily I was able to just pull it out of gear before I, before I hit anything. <clears throat> so I robbed this pin uh, to put back in uh, one of these two just to get back to the house and uh, I believe this is for the brake, emer uh, the emergency brake, which they don't work super well but anyway this rod's just been hanging here so i bought a little clevis pin pack from tractor supplies three eighths inch by two inch a little bit long but that's all right there's nothing around here okay so i've got everything uh changed out all the new fluids new filters uh, i got the steering cylinder back on um about to fire it up so let's see what she'll Make sure she'll fire off here. 